Is that cricket? That's cricket. Isn't this the way you do it? Hold up. No, it's not cricket. I'll do I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome to IFAC, the only show on the internet where safety is not the number one priority. Today we're going to make cookies. Let's get started! Since this is the first episode of IFAC, I need to explain real quick what I'm doing. I am I have not looked up any recipes, I'm not following any instructions, I am just making a kind of food that... How do I explain this? So you're about to see what happens when I try to make cookies with no guide. Let's get started! I have no idea how long it should take for the dough to be made, but I'm going to go ahead and start the oven to preheat. I don't know how long it should take, but I'm going to try about 425. Now let's make the dough. Starting off, we have sugar. Then we have flour. Now we have peanut butter. And we have eggs. Now we have butter. And you can't go wrong with chocolate chips. Got a gallon of milk. And I don't know if this is cheating or not, but I have cookies. Now let's go ahead and start off with the bowl we have. I'm gonna start with one cup of flour. Now I'm going to put in an egg. This does not feel right. I'm gonna put in another egg. Now mix. Mixing with my hands wasn't working too well, so I grabbed an electric mixer. So far, this is looking nothing like cookie dough. I'm going to put in about half a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of butter and mix. We're going to put in our third egg and mix. In case you're wondering what it looks like, it looks great. Now, it still doesn't look like cookie dough, but I haven't tasted it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and try that. Here we go. That was terrible. Let's try some milk. Let's turn it to more of a liquid. Not sure why I wasn't expecting that. You know what they say, when the going gets tough, the tough gets peanut butter. Before we mix, I'm gonna throw in a little bit more sugar. looking a little better now but still looks way too much like a liquid and I don't know why so I'm gonna cheat a little and throw in three of these pre-made cookies but they're gonna be all crumbled up it's looking a little bit better now let me show you doesn't that look delicious so now I think I'm about done I'm just gonna throw in a little bit more flour and then I'm gonna put it in the oven <coughs> Actually, I remembered it before I put this in the oven, I need to add some chocolate chips. Now it's time to put them on a cookie tin. I'm going to use a spoon. It's been seven minutes, let's see how they're doing. Looks good. Okay, go ahead and sit down. I'm scared. You shouldn't be. Well, everyone's gonna need these good things, right? All right, guys, we're gonna try it. You guys ready? Sure. <laughs> yes. All right, here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna give you, the, first off, both of you close your eyes. I'm going to make a reveal, and then you guys are each going to try one, and then you're going to give it a rating on a scale of 1 to 10. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 
You open your eyes. I'd rather close them again. <laughs> you made them that shape on purpose, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the taste test in three, two, one. Goodbye, cruel world. Interesting. It's edible. <laughs> what would you rate on a scale of one to ten? Ryan. <laughs> uh, 6.5. 6.5? Okay. Three. <laughs> Three? <laughs> Alright, you heard it from them. Uh, this yep. idiot failed at cooking. Hope to see you next time. I think. Hello everyone, welcome to IFAC, the only show on the internet where it's not everyday, bro. Today we're gonna make chicken nuggets. Let's get started! Unlike the last episode, I will actually be cooking something. Because in the last episode, I made cookies. And you don't cook cookies. You bake them. It only took one episode for me to mess that up. The first ingredient I have are two chicken breasts. For the seasoning, I'm gonna dip them in egg, and then roll them around in a mixture of cornmeal, salt, pepper, and a little bit of honey. First thing we're gonna do is slice up the chicken breasts into nuggets. <laughs> Apologize to any vegans I'm offending. I'm done slicing the individual nuggets to thaw them out. I think I put them in a little bit too much water. They feel a little bit slimy. Hope that's not a problem. All right, let's get started with the next step, which is seasoning the chicken to be put into the pan. I'm going to put egg in here, and so the mixture of cornmeal and such in here. I'm gonna put them in the egg, put them in the meal, and then I'm going to put them on this plate until I'm ready to put them inside the pan. Also, a side note, because this is cornmeal, that means this entire mixture is also gluten-free. So if you know anyone that's a loser and won't eat gluten, then they'll eat it. Make sure you mix up your egg wash before you use it. So I'm done with that, but it turns out I have a little bit of egg left over. So I'm going to put that in the microwave and see how it tastes. Alright, let's take our first look. Doesn't look that bad. Put in some salt and pepper. And here we go. Tastes like egg. 
Oops. Now before I move on to the next part, there's a very disturbing thing that I need to talk to you about. Subscribing. If you've seen any of my videos, if you've seen my about page, if you've seen my channel art, you know that there is one simple rule for this channel. Don't subscribe. But at the time I'm making this video, I have 14 subscribers. Stop! You're breaking my only rule. What is wrong with you? Like, you know how like some subscribers have like names? Like, if you're subscribed to Jake Paul, you're a Jake Pauler. If you're subscribed to BuzzFeed, you're a moron. Well, if you're subscribed to this channel, then you're just a rebel. Because I told you not to. What's wrong with you? Get out of here. Come on. Chop. All right, now that we've prepped the chicken, it's time to fry it. We're going to take some canola oil, put it onto the pan. Now we wait. Is that copyright? I think it's ready. Oh, goodness gracious. This is dangerous. thought of a really funny joke. If you are what you eat, then if you eat chicken and cows, then you're technically still a vegan. Alright, and here's the final product, and to be honest, I don't think it looks that bad. I think it looks really good. So let's send in the test subject, I mean the testers. So you guys can just walk in okay. and take a seat seats, but don't don't touch anything. Alright, let's so make sure the camera's good. Let's see, I'll even flip this around for you guys. Alright, today we're gonna test it. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Better close your eyes. Okay, okay ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, it looks good. That looks good. Is it fish? No, it's 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 chicken. Yeah, it's chicken. <laughs> okay, you guys uh, take a bite and then think about it and then you can rate it on a scale of one to ten. Doesn't matter which uh, dip we use. No. I use barbecue. I'll use barbecue so you get a fair comparison. But so Mama used barbecue sauce too, so there's two barbecue sauces. Oh my goodness! I always hated cooking videos. How are you supposed to tell when somebody says, ooh, this is really good, what it really tastes like? This is really good, Nick. It's all It's really good? Yes, it really is. All right, you got to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. Can I finish this first? No. No? No, I'm on a tight deadline. Uh. If 10 is as high as I can go, 10 is where I'll stop. All right, 10 and... 10 sounds good to me, 10? All right, you heard it from them. This idiot failed at cooking. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Maybe I don't know. Wait, Matt. Hello everyone, and welcome to IFAC, the only show on the internet where we assume recipes like gender. Today we're going to make an apple pie. Let's get started! So let's get started. The ingredients I have are milk, butter, flour, sugar, apples, and eggs. So this is the most lost I have ever been in anything I have made so far. So this is just going to be treacherous, and I am sorry. We're going to start out with a tablespoon of sugar. Now we're going to add more sugar. And now we're going to put in one egg. And three tablespoons of flour.
and now we mix. Hey, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be in here. You can't have my food. Come on. I like apple pie. Alright, this looks awful as expected. I'm going to throw in a bunch more sugar. Now I'm going to shape it into a pie crust, because it's ready. Actually, I think I'm going to add more flour. And mix. Looks just like a pie crust. That's what I'm making. This looks more like cookie dough than anything else. We're gonna add some more flour still. Alright, now that we have the mixture ready, I'm going to shape it into the pie crust. to my fingers, which means it needs more flour. Alright, let's try to roll it up a little better. Alright, now we're going to stomp this into pie crust. With more added flour. All right, we got our pie crust, and now we're ready to move on to the filling. We're going to start off by peeling the apples. Now for the blender, I'm going to put in all the apples I just peeled, including one that is not peeled. I'm going to put in some milk and some sugar. We're going to blend that for the mixture of the pie. Now I'm going to start putting in sugar by the fourth cup. That should be enough. Now I'm just going to start pouring in milk and stop whenever I think it's done. Put in way too much milk. We're going to put in more sugar. Here we go. It's very liquidy. It smells awful. Oh, this is the worst thing I've ever made. Alright, I gotta follow through with this. Alright, I'm not even gonna edit this part out. Here we go, it's just... just Alright, you guys, you ready for me to put the filling in the pie? Here we go! Let's just take the, take this, take the pie filling, pour it into the pie! Alright, now we're gonna put this in the freezer. Wait, no, put it in the oven, right? We're gonna put <laughs> We're gonna stick this in the oven and we're gonna die! I hate this! Oh goodness. I have a little bit of pie mixture left over, 
So I'm going to do the only sensible thing and drink some of it. Here we go. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> like this video. Go ahead and don't smart. touch the towel. Make sure that you guys take a seat. Hey, 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 hey! Take a seat. Like, make sure the camera's good. Like, you guys are way too tall for this. Alright, so you guys ready? No. Oh wait, no, I didn't I didn't start it out. I was supposed to slam on the table. Are you guys ready? No. Mm -hmm. Alright, well do you close your eyes? Close your eyes. Three, two, one. Okay. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Yeah. It doesn't look anything right. like an apple pie, <laughs> but it might be edible. Yeah, but you gotta cut it like a normal pie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here's the drill. You will take a bite, think about it for a little bit, and give it a straight it on a scale of 1 to 10. Straight it. Straight it. Not bad as I was expecting. That's good. Can you talk louder, please? Kinda weird. Okay. I'll venture a second bite. Mm. It's really chewy. You know, like a bread? That's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, you've had enough time to think about it? Give it a. <laughs> Can you go ahead and rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Amber? Five and a half. Five and a half. Caleb? Three. Three. All right, you heard it from them. This idiot failed at cooking. See you next uh, time, maybe. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. I don't know. You lived up to the name of your yeah. show in this one. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to IFAC, the only show on the internet. Today, we're going to make pizza. Let's get started. Now, making pizza isn't that hard. The hardest part is making the dough. So that's really going to be the test of IFAC today. I'm going to make the dough and then add the ingredients. And then once we stick it in the oven, we'll see how it goes. The ingredients I have today are flour, mozzarella, pepperoni, pizza sauce, vegetable oil, sugar, and salt. I'm also going to use some warm water. We're going to start off by adding the warm water to the bowl. Now we're going to add a bunch of flour. Now we're going to add just a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, and a cap full of vegetable oil, and mix. Now that it looks mixed well enough, I'm going to put it on the counter and I'm going to knead it. That would miss. Dude! It's definitely like very blocky. It's a little dry looking, but it actually doesn't look like it's that far off. Yeah. This is surprisingly way better than I was expecting it to turn out, so now I'm going to sit here and let the dough rise for about 20 minutes. While I'm waiting for the dough, I'm going to start Eat cheese. While I'm waiting for the dough, I'm going to gonna cut the cheese. While I'm, I'm waiting gonna shred the cheese, actually. While I'm waiting for the dough, I'm going to take this block of mozzarella and shred it. All right, now that we're done waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and stomp this down into a pizza crust. Here we go. 
Come on, Caleb. Come on, no class. What? No class. Sorry. <laughs> All right, now that we have everything mixed and we've waited, I'm gonna go ahead and stomp this down into a pizza crust. Here we go. All right, now that it's done, I'm going to push up the sides a little bit to make it a little bit more like a pizza, and then I will get ready for the next step. So now we're ready to put on the sauce, the cheese, and the pepperoni, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. All right, now we're gonna stick this in the oven at 400 degrees and watch it until it's done. You guys take, take a chair. I'm so but don't touch anything. About to be on the internet. Yeah, don't touch, no touching. You're not the first person to do that. You guys like that's funny. <laughs> it was funny when I did it. All right, no. so you guys are uh, sitting, I mean, all right. All right, are you guys ready? I'm so scared. You're scared? How do you feel? I don't really care. You don't care? Are we All right, I need both of you to close your eyes. Smells like pizza. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Open your eyes. It looks like pizza. It's not, that's actually zucchini. Oh, okay. Why are there cups? Fast phone, curious. Because they didn't want to put the towel on top of the uh, pizza. That's a good reason. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. You're all gonna, you're gonna try it. What happened to the knife? You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna try it and then oh. you're gonna give it a rating on a scale of one to ten. Does this rating go into the negatives? Um, only if it's multiplied by a negative beforehand. Looks okay. pretty good. That's good. All right, there you go. Are you sure we're gonna come before you grab it? Yeah. You, oh my. Well, you can, have you ever wait. gotten a pizza burn? Because I have, and yeah. they're not fun. Yeah, I have and I to. don't feel like getting a one right now. Okay, well, you can wait. <laughs> okay. I can edit this out. <laughs> you tried it? Oh, okay, Taylor tried it. Okay, Sharon. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun zooming on your face right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't give you anything more to work with. Pretty good. Okay. But it tastes like cheese from a bag. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing I've ever held it. <laughs> Alright, you tried it, Sharon? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, do, do you know what you would rate it yet? You guys, you guys ready to rate it? Yeah. Okay, Taylor, what, what would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? I get a seven. A seven? Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Sharon looks less happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is so much cheese. Sharon likes it. I got the piece with less cheese. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Sharon. The number has been on there for Tater for a long time. I don't know. It's been um, I rate it at like an eight. An eight? Yeah. Ooh! Alright, you guys heard it from them, this idiot filled it cooking. See you next time, maybe, probably, I don't know. Hello everyone and welcome to IFAC, the only show on the internet where- Today we're gonna make a cheesecake, let's get started! The ingredients I have today are flour, sugar, eggs, salt, and six pounds of cheese. We're going to start off by adding our ingredients to a mixing bowl to make the crust. We're going to start off with an old classic flour. We've got half a cup and another half cup. 
Now we're going to throw in one egg. Now we're going to add a third cup of sugar and mix. We're going to throw in another egg. It's perfect. Ooh, tastes like egg. I didn't say taste, I didn't just smell it, but it tastes like egg from the smell. So much of what you just said. I'm gonna test a little bit and see how it tastes, and I can decide off of that whether I think it's ready to go on to the next step. Here we go. Tastes like sugar cookie dough. I'll take it! Let's move on! Now we're gonna add the crumbs to this pan, and then we're gonna drop that in there. Now we're gonna grab the stomper, and we're gonna form it into the crust for our cheesecake. All right, now we're gonna stomp it. So here's the deal. I don't have enough mixture here, so I'm gonna have to go back to the mixing bowl and make more. I'm gonna throw in another cup of flour, another third cup of sugar, and my two eggs, and mix. And now we're ready to move on. Now you might be wondering just what kinds of cheese I'm gonna be using for my cheesecake. Well, the answer is four different kinds. I have blue cheese, mozzarella, sharp cheddar, and Colby and Monterey Jack. We're going to start off with the bottom layer of mozzarella cheese. Now we're going to add a layer of sharp cheddar. And I don't remember what this one's called, but that's going to be the top layer. Now that we have all three layers, I'm just going to grab bits and pieces from every different kind and just do this. It's going to be great. Now we're going to put on some blue cheese. And it's definitely not stinky and gross. Now that we have this finished product of beautiful expertly crafted cheesecake. I'm going to stick it in the oven so all the cheese can melt together and form the inside of the cake and then I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it cool down and I'll serve it to the test sub uh, testers. See you then! Alright while the cheesecake is cooking uh, I made it, I had the idea to do a challenge with Caleb since it's his I don't house. Know what the is, he doesn't know what the challenge is. The challenge is the chubby bunny challenge. You still don't know what that is. So here's the challenge. You have to put, we're using Snickers because he didn't have enough marshmallows. You put a Snickers in your mouth and then you say chubby bunny. Okay. And then if I do it, or if you do it, then I go. And whoever can, like, we add one each time. Whoever can say chubby bunny with the most Snickers in their mouth wins. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay. okay. So I'm going to go first. One Snickers. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. You can't shoot. I'm trying not to. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby <laughs> 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 bunny. No, it's not fair. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can hear you. It's not a trash can. It's <laughs> one. Slobber! Shut the body! Okay, take another one. Shut the body! Shut the body! I can't do it, I can't do it. Shut the body! Okay, you guys ready? I guess. Yeah. You ready? All right. 
Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to lift this. You each get three guesses as to what you think it is. Okay? So go ahead and close your eyes. Three, two, one. Oh gosh. <laughs> Watch your profanity. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I see cheese. I see looks it looks like some sort of biscuit kind of. Okay, there's biscuit. That looks like mold, but I know it's not mold. Moldy biscuit? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna say broccoli. Okay, so your guesses are biscuit and broccoli? <laughs> I have no idea. It looks all right, Luke, what are your guesses? Come on, Luke. What, Come do you on, think? Luke. what recipe was he going for here? Uh, what was I trying to make? You're trying to make... Uh, <laughs> it looks cool. Uh, a, f a casserole with... Uh, casserole with, I don't know? <laughs> with... All right, so you've gotten three guesses, <laughs> like, cumulatively. He's got two more, and you've got one more. Adam's got one. Do you want to use up your guesses? Or do you want me to tell you? Cheesecake. It's cheesecake. <laughs> Not the kind of cheesecake I want. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we are. We're gonna, um, I'm gonna cut you all your own personal slice of cheesecake. I like how you're just touching it with your hands. Yeah, this <laughs> is like iPad. Well, that's, Adam, that's the least of your worries, trust me. Yeah, that's the least of your worries. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I would much rather have this if it were hot. Okay, there is Cheesecake Luke's is piece, piece. Cold, though, it's just chilly. and there is Adam's piece. But I would piece. rather have this heated Can up. you uh, turn that around so we can see the cheese? Yeah! Alright, so I need both of you to take a bite. Do I have water to wash this down with? No, this no. is IFAC. <laughs> you start thinking of a classier show. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> So you're both gonna have to take a bite and then give it a rating on a scale of one to ten. Adam, well, rate it Adam has to rate first. No, you cannot rate it without eating. It. I have to eat it first. Yes. How big yes. does that to be? Uh, Just take, a, uh, take a, give it a good taste test. Yeah, give it a good taste. This might be good. You might like it. This is so light. All right, Adam seems to really like it. <laughs> And Luke is still terrified. <laughs> Take a bite. Take a bite, Luke. All right, we're, we're, we're upping our budget here. We're giving him something to wash it down with. Um, All right, so you don't have to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 based off of how much it tastes like cheesecake. You just have to rate it on how well it tastes. Okay, because if it was on a scale of 1 to cheesecake, it'd be 0. All right, so Adam, what would you rate it? <laughs> no offense, but probably a 6. <laughs> a 6? That's honestly not that bad. <laughs> All right, Luke, what would you say? I was going to say a five. A five? I was expecting worse. I really was. All right, well, you heard it from well, them. Well, it's going to be scary. <laughs> Maybe if I had more cheese, because there was, like, no cheese on this one. You know how much cheese there was in there? <laughs> no, like, on the edge, because you got... Oh, well, you can, grab a, you can grab a middle slice. I'll grab a little. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Adam likes it, he's going for six. Oh, Adam, okay, you gotta give it a higher rating because of that. I think six and five are really generous. Unless it, unless it actually tastes good. I don't, I think I don't only actually me, eat the things that are on here. I think only me and Levi have ever been honest if you're cooking on yeah. the show. We were being generous. Alright, now that is a lot of cheese. That is a lot of cheese. That's a lot of cheese. Go ahead and try it. No one had blue cheese. Yeah. Adam's got a piece on his original piece, but he's like trying to avoid it. I thought it was broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue no, cheese. that's blue cheese, which right. means that is mold. I do like blue cheese. Yeah, Alright, so would you change your rating based off of the cheesy bite or no? Seven. Seven? Oh, Ooh. goodness. Okay, seven and you say five? Okay. Alright, you guys heard it from them. This idiot failed to cook. See you in the next episode, maybe. Probably. I don't know. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wifehack, the only show on the internet that knows Canada's deepest and darkest secrets. Today we're going to make a chocolate cake. Let's get started! The ingredients I have today are sugar, flour, eggs, and chocolate milk. We're going to start off with a whole bunch of flour. That's two and a half cups of flour. Now we're going to put in two eggs and see how it looks after that. Now we're going to put in about a half a cup of sugar and mix. Now we're going to put in just a little bit of chocolate milk to help things mix in just a little bit and to add that nice chocolate flavor. 
we're going to add a little more milk. Didn't quite do the job. Okay, now I'm going to try the electric mixer. It's really lumpy. Looks like this right now. So... Huh. Let's try more milk. Alright, uh, there's still a bunch of flour in the bottom, but the top looks like cookie dough. So I'm gonna try to get in there with my hands, which is never a smart decision. But we'll see what I can do from here. In case you're wondering, this is what it looks like now. Uh, so now it looks like this. I'm going to throw in a little bit more chocolate milk, and then I will probably put it in the oven. Alright, now we're going to take this beautiful cake mixture and throw it inside this cake tin, and then we're going to throw it in the oven, see what happens. Yeah. All right, now we're going to stick this in the oven at 400 degrees and let's see how it goes. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Cheese Me Up Challenge, where Caleb... Yes. Ow. Caleb is going to feed me cheese, five different kinds to be exact, mm -hmm. and I have to guess what kinds of cheese they are. So I don't get a word bank or anything like that. It's just, it's just, as soon as I'm ready, I'm gonna say, cheese me up! <laughs> and then he's gonna feed me the cheese. You guys ready? Let's get started. Okay. All right, Caleb, cheese me up. All right, cheese number one. <laughs> I could just hand you the spoon for the next ones if you want. Uh, American. He's right. All right, Caleb, cheese me up. <laughs> okay. Colby Jack Monterey. Yep. Yes! Two for two! All right, Caleb, cheese me up. <laughs> Blue cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It may have gone bad. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be quite that moldy. But when you give me the idea for the cheese challenge, that's why I agreed to do it, because I wanted to do that. This is disgusting. Uh, I promise the next one's not disgusting. This will get the taste of it. Ah! Okay. Cheese me up! <laughs> I'm scared to swallow this. Just taste it. It's like... Spicy cheese, like like a jar of like taco seasoning cheese. But that's not the name on the jar, but that's the kind of cheese it is. So let's see. Queso salsa. Why did you tell me? Because you get you weren't gonna guess that because you. That, that, was, I guess it right. I said it was for salsa. That's right? what I mean. I said it's salsa. salsa. That's salsa type taco cheese. So I got a four for four, right? Yeah. All right. One more. I was not expecting to do well on this challenge. Yeah. One more. All right. One more. Uh, cheese me up. Oh. Why are you laughing? I'm so scared of flour. <laughs> what is it? Just tell me what kind of cheese it is. It's bad. It's familiar. No idea. We give up? What do you think? It's not cheese, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Or can you guess what it is? <laughs> is it like pudding? No. I, I don't I don't know. Orange marmalade. Orange marmalade. <laughs> so, jelly. Jelly. Yeah. I'm glad I I'm glad I caught that it wasn't cheese. I'm 
I would be very surprised if you didn't. Alright, now let's move on to the next challenge, which is the Chug Me Up Challenge. <laughs> what is, where are you eating these knives? I don't know, okay. We're gonna try and each chug... Let's put them down. Okay. We're gonna try to chug a glass of chocolate milk that I used to make the cake. Whoever finished first that has their glass on the table wins. What's the prize? The prize is dignity. And a million people on YouTube, actually, probably like 15 people on YouTube. Yeah. If that. If that. Alright, so we're gonna start off with the glasses of milk on the table. And our hands, where should we put our hands? Like on the table or like on the wall? On our faces? On each other's faces? No, I don't like that last idea. Okay. Uh, let's put our hands on the table. Beside the on the table. Ready? Let's have the audience count down. Any day, guys. I don't have an audience. Yeah. Three. I figured that. Two. We, oh, we both count down so there's no like cheating. Like, okay. Three. three two, two. Wait, hold on. Should we go three, two, one, grab or three, two, one? Or what? Three, two, one, grab. Okay. Three, three two. two. <coughs> Would you stop it? <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, grab. Jump. Cheese challenge. Okay, the one that the milk me up challenge. <laughs> Let's move on to the taste testers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Try that cake. All right. See you guys. Um. No. Now, because <laughs> because editing exists. You guys ready? No. 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 no? Okay. Not knowing you're cooking. I mean. No. All right. You gotta close your eyes. All right. On the count of three. One, two, three. <gasps> it's cake! Whoa! What? I was not expecting that. I know, man. You didn't spoil it to me on the way here. Yeah. Wow. Also, we, had, we, we, we had to bring it. Caleb again and again because, yeah. we, because the other guy fell through. We're running out of new people. Yeah, you only know so many people. Yeah, I only have so many friends. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Friends. Friends. Acquaintances. Alright, so... Yeah, acquaintances and family. <laughs> so what is the worst thing about throwing a party in space? What is the worst thing about throwing a party in space? You have to plan it. You have to plan it? Caleb, okay, just, just ignore him. Yeah. I haven't zoomed in on the cake, so you can't see anyone's faces, oh, okay. thankfully. So you couldn't see <laughs> yeah. the expression. And then yesterday, a clown held the door open for me. I thought it was a nice gesture. Gest gesture. 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 Yes. Alright, give me a bite there. Alright, so you guys know the drill. You guys gotta yep. take a bite and then rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. I can't even get my fork to penetrate the crust. Yeah. <laughs> you have a knife or something? You could sell us a bulletproof vest, maybe. Uh, oh Alright, here we go. Alright, uh, Chris has to rate it first, because that's how it works. But you, you take a little bit of time to think about it. You came, Chris looks pretty happy. He looks, I've never seen him happier in my life, if I'm gonna be honest here. Yeah, Caleb's Caleb's eating more of it. That's good. That's always good. Oh, oh, is Chris eating more? Chris is eating even more of it. Yum. Food. This is the most awkward episode I've ever. Okay. <laughs> the first bite, the crust is really hard. Mm-hmm. That was your fault. But then I thought the inside was good, so I took a second bite, and it. It was like a sponge. Tastes like a sponge. <laughs> well, isn't that what cake is? All I, all I did no. was throw a sponge in the oven, so. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah. Alright, so, do, are you guys ready to rate it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Chris, you ready to rate it? Yeah, I'll rate it. I'll give this thing a four. A four. That's pretty awesome. Caleb? I give it a one. A oh, one? Like, it's edible, <laughs> but I wouldn't want to eat it. Four and a one. Five out of twenty is not bad. It just tastes really boring. Boring? Well, yeah, it hardly has any flavor and it's kind of dry and spongy. Yeah. Yeah, well, you guys heard it from them. This idiot failed at cooking. See you next time. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Hello, Hello everyone, and welcome to iFat, the only show on the internet that cuts their toenails before filming. Today we're going to make breakfast. Let's get started!
This episode is special for two reasons. One is that this is coming out on Christmas. So if you're watching on Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you're not, you're a loser. And two, this is the season finale of IFAC. So if you're watching this before season two comes out, you've got a long way to wait. But it's okay because we have six other episodes. Go watch those over and over again. Share them with your family. Share them with your mom. Share them with your dog. I don't care. I need those views. Let's get started! For today's breakfast, we're going to have a hard-boiled egg, French toast, and pancakes. We're going to start off with some pancakes. The ingredients I have today are milk, flour, and an egg. We're going to start off with one cup of flour, one egg, and mix. Now add a half a cup of milk. All right, the pancake mix is done, so we're going to move on to the hard-boiled eggs. Now for the hard-boiled eggs. As you can see here, we have boiling water. I'm going to throw in a little bit of salt. We're going to throw in our two eggs. And cover it up. And we're going to leave it here for an hour. Okay, we're having a slight problem. The eggs exploded. It's done. I don't remember how long it's been, but it's done. The hard-boiled eggs, woohoo! All right, moving on to the French toast. Now it's time to make the French toast. We're gonna start off by cracking an egg on here and then taking some white bread and wiping it all over and then frying it. Let's do it! Imagine what I think it looks like. Slash it up, slash it, slash it. This is how real French toast is made, fellas. Take notes. I'm gonna need another egg. Watch this skill. Skill. All right, now we're ready to move on to the next step. We're gonna take the bread, put it in there, put it in the pan. On to the next step. I think the crust is a little weird, but yeah. On a cracker, I don't even notice it. Totally had it on that pan, though. All right, guys. Now we're gonna start making the French toast and the pancakes. We're starting off with the French toast. Let's get started. All right, French toast is almost done. As you can see, it looks quite beautiful. Let's flip it over again. Yeah, dude. Look at that. Look at that French toast. Alright, French toast number one is ready. Putting it on the plate. And moving on to French toast piece number two. Oh my. Pretty good. You've got it already. Alright, toast number two is ready. Now it's time for the pancake mix. All right, now time to flip this pancake. Yeah! It's the same color as the pan. That's what I was going for. All right, this one looks better. Uh, yeah, so we're about to move on to the uh, test, taste testing thing. Just gotta wait for this one to finish and we'll move on. Hi guys. I've gained some weight, as you can see. It's because I've been eating too many ice cream sandwiches. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm ashamed, but I just can't resist. In fact, I, I think I'll have one now. There's a box on the table here in front of me, and I think I'll have an ice cream sandwich. Yes. Or, or several. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll unwrap it and feed it to myself. Why do they make these wrappers so hard? I mean, I just, I don't know. I'm really bad at unwrapping ice cream sandwiches. But, um, there's a little piece left that I missed. <coughs> there we go! Okay, now I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> See? I really like ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> I think I'll take another bite now. <laughs> Oops, that was my shit. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. All right, you ready for another? Um, no, no, no. You can see I'm very coordinated. So, it's an effect of all this sugar. One more, let's see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, mm -hmm. I got it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm. I'm really confused. Let's ask Daniel now about his new diet. Bye, guys! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Eating a Ice Cream Sandwich Challenge. Today, me, Danny too, I'm going to be eating an ice cream sandwich. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. I, <laughs> I love ice cream. I know uh, Caleb had a hard time with it, but I think I'm a lot smarter than Caleb. I need to push my glasses up. Can you, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Thanks. I'm really good at pushing my glasses up. Have you noticed that? Let's eat it. Um, um, Mmm! Ten out of ten. Way better than anything I've ever made on the show. Mmm! Mmm! Gotta wipe my face! Bye, guys! Hope you enjoy the ice cream show, Kelly! You guys ready? No. No. Okay, we forgot to mention. Since this is the season finale, the two hosts of the show are going to be the taste testers. So as you can see here, a little more. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> as you can see here, we have a hard-boiled egg, we have the pancake, and we have the French toast. Uh, I'm sorry if you can't tell the pancake and the French toast apart. That was not intentional. It's just because he's a terrible cook. All right, we have syrup here as well. We're gonna try the meal and then we're gonna rate it on a scale of one to 10. So I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna start with the egg. Three, two, one. That is good. This mm -hmm. is so far 10 out of 10. Yeah, the boiled egg is exactly what a boiled egg should be. Yeah. I was gonna boil it for an hour. I ended up boiling it for 15 minutes. And then this one exploded, so I stopped. All right, here we go. <laughs> French toast. In three, two, one. Very good. I like this whole thing. <gasps> We're not wearing our hats. All right, guys, we had our hats on the whole time. Yeah, you just imagined that we do. Yeah, you just have, we have the ability to turn hats invisible. Yeah, I was actually practicing video editing, and I removed the hats. You did really the, well. I couldn't I even tell. I couldn't even tell. And I haven't even watched a video yet. I haven't even edited it yet. I know. Wow, wow that's good. Wow, I could swear you just that that hat disappeared on your head. It, and that was just in the editing. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, anyway. All right, moving on to the pancakes. It's time to try the pancakes. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not enthusiastic. <laughs> it's charcoal on one side. All right, I want to put syrup on mine. Three, two, one. Ugh. All right. The egg was a 10. The French toast was probably like a five or six. Mm. It was a little bit more. Well, I don't know. I would right. say a seven. I rate this meal an eight. I'll give it a six. Just it's because six. of the pancake. The other stuff is fine. That's pretty good. Pretty honest, I think. But you guys heard it from us. Can't stop poking it. This idiot failed the cooking. See you next season. Bye bye! Yay.